What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. It's Oz. Let's get productive. So today I am super excited to bring a brand new plugin to you guys. Now, me and my partner, Jake, we created the No Tonic VST and it's been an incredible experience taking something that didn't exist, putting it together and putting it out to the public for you guys, for all you producers to really take and do whatever you want with it has been incredible. And it's been dope watching you guys create. And it's just been really dope communicating with the producer community in this way. So thank you for supporting the No Tonic VST. But today we have something really incredible to announce. We have just released our first free VST. It's called Subs by Notonic. Now, Subs by Notonic is a bass plugin. It's jam-packed with a bunch of really incredible bass presets. Every single bass inside of Subs by Notonic are basses that were curated specifically to not only have a lot of nuance and a lot of creativity and a lot of really interesting feels, but they're practical. They're all basses that can actually work well in your workflow. So we're gonna get into a walkthrough. We're gonna go through all of the features inside of this thing and some of the sounds inside of this thing but before we even move forward you can look down in the description section in this video and just click on the link and download it absolutely free now one more note before we get into subs by no tonic and i'll let you guys check it out all of the bass sounds inside of subs by no tonic are going to be featured in the next big surprise which is that we have no tonic version two no tonic two should be out by the end of this year and it's going to have a lot of new features it's going to have all of the things that you've come to know and love about the original version of no tonic but a lot of really cool features one of which are playable instruments now you can have all of those chord sounds that you love are now gonna be available for you to play as playable instruments, as well as an extensive list, an extensive category of other playable instruments. Everything from bass sounds, to pads, to brass sounds, to plug sounds that you can use over and over in a bunch of different ways and really keep coming up with creative and dope ideas. So No Tonic 2 is coming out by the end of this year and all of the bass sounds in this free VST, subs by No Tonic, are going to also be featured inside of Notonic 2. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. Subs by Notonic. Let me show you guys what this thing is all about. So as always, I have Logic queued up and this is Subs by Notonic. Now I'm super excited about this thing. Like I said earlier, just being able to have a concept and realizing that concept and bringing it to life is already super gratifying. But I know how much time we spent very specifically on not only crafting incredible sounds inside of this thing, but making sure that we made a bass sound that is going to be creative, but not so creative and overpowering that it takes over every single other aspect of your production flow. So there's a balance there that we tried to find when we were creating these bass sounds, something that if we took the low end out of the bass sounds, you could almost probably play it like a synth, which is a, a really cool thing that you can do and I'll show you guys later, but also work really well as just creative sounding subs. So we wanted to create a UI that catered to that and we feel like we did that. Now, when you dive into the UI, the first thing you're gonna see that pops out right here is this really big knob in the center. It kind of has that pastel pinkish purplish hue to it. And that's kind of like our calling to the Notonic VST in itself. Cause like I said, all of the preset sounds inside of this thing are going to be sounds that you can find inside the new version of Notonic that's coming out later this year. It kind of lives in the same ecosystem. So that's why we call the subs by Notonic and why we did these callings to Notonic with some of the color of the knobs, that pinkish kind of hue, but it's a little more aggressive and it has its own attitude. It's something separate. So when you see the, the UI background, we wanted to create something that had some movement, but was a little bit dark, kind of like a bass sound itself. So you have these wavy patterns going on here in the background. And then you have this main knob in here in the middle, which is your distortion effect which works obviously amazing with bass sounds. There's nothing like saturating your bass sound and giving it a little bit of edge and a little bit of distortion to really push it forward in the mix, but also push it forward on speakers that may not be capable of handling some of those sub frequencies. You want it to show up on things like cell phones and computer laptops and stuff like that. So distortion is a nice feel to add. And with that, you have your drive knob and your mix knob. So you can actually blend the distortion into your bass sound 
you know, however you like via the drive knob. You can kind of look at the distortion main knob up here as your punch knob. This is where you're gonna add gain to that distortion. And the drive knob right here is how much distortion you're gonna add to the sound itself. So if you can crank the drive knob all the way up and get some really insane distortion sounds, adjust the gain of it with the main distortion knob right here. And then you can use this mix knob right here in the middle of both of those to kind of blend between the uh, level of distortion with the dry signal of the sound itself. So you can actually start off by adding a little bit of gain to the distortion so you can actually hear what that distortion sounds like and cranking up the mix knob a little bit to kind of see where you're at with the distortion. And you can crank the drive to add more distortion to it. Obviously that's super insane. That's an insane amount of distortion, but you can turn some of the gain down a little bit. And you can turn some of the drive down a little bit. Or you can leave it like this and blend between both knobs with the mix knob right here. And you can play around with it that way. We also have an attack knob and a release knob right down here between these two knobs right here. And we have a chorus knob. Now the reason I wanted to add the chorus sound besides the fact that it's a really cool sounding effect, especially when you use it on bass, it can kind of widen the sound of your bass a little bit and still maintain the punch that's in your bass. So we added a chorus effect right here and I'm gonna go to a different type of bass. And you can turn up the chorus knob and kind of widen that sound and wash it out a little bit. You also have your overall gain knob over here on the right side, and you also have a glide knob. So you can go to mono, turn up the glide. And you can add some really interesting characteristics to the bass just by playing around with the glide knob. And over here on the left, you have your cutoff knob with your high pass and low pass filters. Now, this obviously does what it says it does. It allows you to take some of the sub frequencies out of the bass if you like and, you know, play around with the high pass and low pass filters. But it also allows you to do some really interesting things with some of the presets that we have in here, which I'm going to jump into and show you in just a second. And right over here, you have your left and right volume indicator, very similar to the one that we have inside our Notonic VST. Like I said, there's a lot of callbacks to just our style and, and what it is that we create when we put our plugins together. And that's basically it. Up here, you have your home button. If you click this home button, it will take you over to the website. And you can either push the forward or backward arrows to cycle through the presets, or you can click on it and just click whatever preset you want. Now you have about 30 presets in here. Like I said, all bass sounds that are going to be in Notonic 2 when it's released. Um, let's click on some of these bass sounds. And we made sure that we added bass sounds that can work with any genre of music you're creating. So obviously we have the 808s in there if you're making trap, hip hop beats, but we also have bass sounds that work with EDM and dance music, very synth heavy bass sounds. And we also have a really cool sounding acoustic bass in there that I think works with not only lo-fi sounding beats, but jazz beats, anything that you're creating it'll work well with. Now here's something really interesting you could do. Like I said, we have some really creative sound and presets. And this is where things get really interesting. You can play around with the cutoff, right? You can add a high pass filter. It takes some of the sub frequencies out. And because of the way we curated a lot of these sounds and the nuance in a lot of these sounds, you could just play it like another instrument. It doesn't have to be used like you're using it as a bass. You could play it like melodies and you can add a chorus effect to it after you take some of those sub frequencies out. <laughs> Thank you. 
adjust the release and the attack. You can glide a little bit. And as you can see, just by making some adjustments, we created a whole nother preset right there that doesn't have to be used as a bass sound. We could use it as a melody. So very simple, very straightforward. This VST is going to be something that you can just throw on anytime you not only need a bass sound, but you just need an interesting sound in general. Subs by Notonic will do that for you. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go through some of the presets inside of this thing. I'm not gonna go through every single preset, but we're gonna just scroll through some of them so you guys can get an idea of what you get inside of this thing, absolutely free. Let's start with some of the 808s. And like even with a bass sound like this, it could definitely benefit with some added distortion. You could turn up that main distortion knob. You don't even really have to mess around with the drive knob or the mix knob, but if you just want to dial it in a little bit and get it to sound exactly the way you want it to sound, then you can do that. But just by turning up this main knob in the center here, you can get some extra character to your bass. And as you can see, that's really effective when you really start going down into those deep sub frequencies. It really allows that bass to show up. As you can hear, just by cranking the distortion knob, I'm not even halfway up the distortion knob and, and it's, it's really giving it a vibe right now. I really, really like this 808 here. This one is called 808 Timber. You could create some really tribal sounding beats with that 808, it's really cool. So we're gonna get out of the 808 category and go into some of these other bass sounds. that one. Really dope bass sound for house music and EDM music. So yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna go into every single bass sound inside of this thing, but as you can hear, we really wanted to take our time to create bass sounds that are really workable in your beats, but also have a lot of nuance and a lot of really interesting textures to some of those basses, especially the 808 bass. Um, we didn't wanna just jam pack a whole bunch of bass sounds 
inside of this plugin and go, hey, have at it, take your pick. We wanted to really dial it in and really only create the bass sounds that we thought would work well in any genre of music. And then once we created those bass sounds, we really wanted to carve a little bit extra into those sounds to make it more creative and more interesting, but still workable in a real way. So we think we did that. And so yeah, that's it. That's basically everything there is inside of Subs by No Tonic. And we really hope you enjoy it. Anyone out there who's already purchased the No Tonic VST, you should have received an email already with this free VST. So you can go look inside of your emails and you should be able to find this VST. Also, don't forget to check your spam folders, but you should be able to find a link to download this free copy of Subs by No Tonic. If you didn't purchase No Tonic yet and you still want this free VST, I'm leaving a link down in the description below and you can check it out and have fun. I can't wait to hear the type of beats that you guys cook up with this VST. And just thank you again for supporting and being down for the No Tonic movement. It's, it's been incredible watching the way you guys have responded to No Tonic. And look out for No Tonic 2. Like I said earlier, if you like the bass sounds you hear in Subs by No Tonic, you're gonna love what we have created for you guys for No Tonic 2 that's coming out later this year. So be on the lookout for that. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.